everyone in the Godot community is patiently waiting for Godot 4. And we know that the devs are hard at work adding all the new features which have been requested. I can already tell you that the wait will be worth it, especially after seeing what this week's tutorial makers have done with the alpha version. So if you're ready to start the game, game dev, dev journey, 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 then let's take a look. Semicoder is an experienced Unity developer and he's made a number of games, projects and tutorials with it. With the recent controversial events in the Unity space, he decided to give Godot a try. It's always interesting to hear the thoughts and perspectives of other developers from other engines when they try out Godot. If you want to find out what Semicoder thought, how he got on, and whether he made the ultimate switch or not, go to his channel and watch the full video now. MMO in Godot invites you to watch in amazement as he fumbles his way around Godot in an attempt to create an MMO. This is a really ambitious goal and it's interesting to see the progress being made bit by bit. In the latest video, the updates brought in by Godot 4 are discussed as well as terrain collision, dynamic nodes, implementing the movement and camera, as well as the use of spells and decals. Lots of big things happening on this channel, so do check it out if you want to learn more. The guys over at Canopy Games have been experimenting with the new and upcoming features of Godot 4. This month they were playing with Godot 4 Alpha 14 in a live stream and it's been recorded for us to enjoy now. If you're keen to see what new things are possible in Godot 4 and want to be on the bleeding edge, then this is a great video to watch. Canopy Games has a wealth of high quality content on their channel ranging from Godot 4, music and even game asset workflow. Certainly a great channel to check out. Lukifa has a new tutorial out for Godot 4 showing you how to make fully functional 3D doors with keys. Lukifa actually has a ton of incredible content for Godot and game dev in general. He has a huge following and it's certainly worth checking out. Keep in mind that his tutorials are in Spanish. Still worth a watch though. Perfection NH is making exciting gaming, animation and 3D modeling videos and his latest one demonstrates how to recreate a slide mechanic for an FPS game like the one you would find in Apex Legends. This is not something which I've seen before and I'm pretty sure it's a feature that anyone making a 3D FPS in Godot would like to add to their game. So please head over to Perfection's channel and watch. Accelerate has created a tutorial demonstrating how to create a custom 3D trail renderer in Godot 4. The effect is really smooth and absolutely adds that little bit of juice to your game which is so effective in enhancing the look and feel. Accelerate has a number of other experiments and tutorials on its channel and it's definitely one which I'll be keeping my eye on, so please head over there and see what else you can find. Finally, Kyle Rasweiler has been playing around with Rigid Dynamic Bodies 3D and doing a couple of tests to see what's changed and what's stayed the same. Kyle's channel is full of useful game dev content and recently he's been doing a lot of experiments with Godot 4 and the new features being introduced. So if you're keen to see what's coming up and you want to add a new channel to your Godot list, then Kyle is one that you should add right now. That's all for this week, thanks for joining me, and I hope to see you all again next time.